it's probably going to be around this time that you may have some men who become uh, uncomfortable and defensive because they may feel as if they are being blamed or that they are being admonished for someone else's pain. Blame and admonishment is not the aim here. It's rather identification of realities of society and to be able to understand the true feelings that the other um, is having in this situation. It would be, in most cases, the other being the woman who um, is experiencing uh, the variety of feelings. Um, none of these eight sessions is intended to make me, to, excuse me, or is intended to make men feel ashamed or guilty for their behavior. Rather, it is intended to open dialogue and create a safer, more peaceful society for all because we've had the opportunity to, to discuss the realities, even if we may not see them. So one of the activities is to a man or a woman, and this begins to look at certain traits in certain situations and whether they're ma male or, ma or female or masculine or feminine. We talk about microaggressions as mosquito bites and what those types of microaggressions are. We talk about ways that women and girls are over-sexualized in media. Um, we talk about the concept of boys will be boys or that's just locker room talk. And we have a little bit of conversation about victim blaming. The theological framework for this uh, session is a conversation around mutual respect. And men in this, at the end of this session, are encouraged to have an ask and listen session. And the ask and listen session in this session, session five, is asking women in their community who they're comfortable having a conversation with what their experiences have been.